Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Good evening again, everyone. All right, some 80 year old records are still stand by the end of the week as we're forecasting highs in the upper 90s. But that record of 113 tomorrow, so back in 1936, won't be challenged. Neither will the one on Wednesday of 109, Thursday, or even Friday's record highs around 109. In 1939 and 1974, as the high temperature does climb close to 100 degrees on Thursday and Friday. Heat advisory goes back into effect tomorrow afternoon at noon and runs through 9 p.m. tonight. We still have the heat advisory until 9 p.m. tonight, but this one goes till Tuesday night at 9. Most of green country included in that. I am concerned about a little bit of heat exhaustion and heat illness. So tomorrow morning, it feels like it's 85. By the afternoon, it feels like it's about 105 to 106. That is hot enough to get you sick. All right, can you pick out this bubble of hot air? I mean, it is just incredible to watch. Follow this along here. I'm going to draw the line from Roswell up to Albuquerque through Goodland all the way to Des Moines, and then we'll follow this back around Cape Girardeau through Memphis and all the way back down here to the south of Texarkana. So we are right in the smack dab middle of this thing. There are a few orographically enhanced showers or some of the higher terrain over southeastern Oklahoma getting some lift in the atmosphere to get a couple of rain showers going there. Relief is up here in Des Moines, but that cold front will not make any progress to the south, so it will remain hot. And tomorrow will look similar to today. Clear skies in the morning, puffy fair weather, cumulus clouds by the afternoon, except down in McAllister. That's where we're getting some of those high uh, elevation showers that are popping up in Pushmataha and Latimer County in parts of LaFleur County. High today, 96, 79 this morning, 94 and 73 are your averages, 113 the record. These clouds will be dissipating as we head into the evening hours. 95 still outside with south-southeast winds at 11 miles an hour in the dew point, right around 72. We go into Jinx and it's 95 degrees in downtown Jinx right now, so it is a warm evening uh, west of the river. 93 heat advisory until 9 p.m. And as we head towards sunset, that temperature only drops to about 87 degrees, but it will become mostly clear Then 76 overnight tonight under mostly clear skies, warm and humid. Uh, Bartlesville might be a little cooler around 71. Coffeeville 74, Paul Husk about 74. The winds will be calm in our northern zones as the low drops to 72 in Grove. Still well in Salisaw, low to mid 70s. Tahlequah also around 71. Sepulpit 75 with light southeasterly winds and south of Interstate 40, low to mid 70s with calm winds again. So at least a little bit of relief at night, but by the afternoon it heats right back up. So tomorrow morning 7 a.m. temperature already climbing 78. 9 a.m. 83 degrees noontime temp 91 southeast winds only at 5 to 10 heat advisory in effect tomorrow afternoon 95 but that feels like temperature again about 106 degrees 97 in Tallulah tomorrow 96 in Bartlesville Coffeeville up to 96 look for a high temperature also around 97 at Ponca City Sepulpa and Bristow 97 degrees Shakota 96 Muskogee up to 96 tomorrow south of Interstate 40 mid to upper 90s with east southeast winds around five miles an hour in Jenks tomorrow High temp, 98, hot, humid, at heat advisory again, in effect between noon and 9 o'clock. And then on Wednesday, 98 with lots of sunshine. I mean, it's good pool weather, but don't forget the sunscreen. You'll need it as early as about uh, 10 a.m. Make sure you for sure that you have it on between 1, 4, and all the way into the evening hours with the strong rays of sunshine. 100 Thursday, that would be the first time this year we hit 100. 101 on Friday, 102 Saturday, minor pattern change over the weekend, maybe some scattered showers or a thunderstorm Sunday and Monday. And if you get into one of those, it'll feel nice.